As we last left off, we just defeated the murky marsh of morbid morons. And now we're heading to Alucard's cave. This should be interesting. This first room, you can be a pacifist and just ignore everything. These blood drops actually cannot hit you. If you're just speed running like that. And this blood drop that first comes, or f drop of fire, just scroll it off screen and then continue speed running. I didn't actually kill anything yet. And thus the lag has come into play. And those acid drops, those will be kind of the main theme of this stage. One of those items is out to get me. One of those was a heart. And that one didn't have an item. One of those candles back there has the dagger, so please don't get it. And now we have some more acid drops. No speed running this room at all. You cannot do it. I've tried doing it, and, well, more often than not, I would just get hit. So, watch out for the firemen. That's in their actual enemy name. Wait for the fire to get out of the way. Oy. Again, wait for fire to get out of the way and diminish. Now it's time for the last real section before we fight Alucard. Yeah, if we went down to that path, we would have had to fight another fireman, and we would have had to wait, and I'm not a fan of waiting. I don't have very big patience when it comes to waiting for things. And now we have a bit of a precise jump with these electrical orbs. Well, balls of destruction. And we're pretty much home free to the boss. This first section of the stage really isn't that bad. And once again, this stage is divided into three parts I will cover. So... This one will definitely be a two-parter. So, we're switching to state two, saving, and I'll see you when we fight Alucard. Alright, now it's time to fight Alucard. You want to try and keep him, like, to the center, close enough, then squat on this block right up here and whip him as much as you can. You can make the fire up here if, you, if you're so daring. But, oh my god. That is not supposed to happen, but hey, I'm still alive. Alright, this guy takes 10 hits to kill. May as well just get the fire out of the way since I'm not going to be able to hit him. Alright, one more hit. I think I got this. There's nothing that this guy could possibly do to end my run. And the first section we got through very easily. That was very, very easy. So now, it's time to get Alucard. Switch to state 2, save, just in case. And we rescue our dear friend. I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. I need you to help me destroy Dracula. What will I do? I will take the Grand Alucard with me. I'm glad to hear that. Let's get him. I'm Alucard. Alright. So, we're switching to say 2. Saving. And we're out. So now it's time for section 2 of this stage. This one's a bit more treacherous. Alright. Here's the part of the stage that I really hate. You have to try and lure this... this bloody eyeball back so you can focus on taking out the mummy radiuses. Then you just want to run away. There we go! I tried doing it with the holy water and I succeeded, but then, even after that, I end... my run ended only by one of those mummy radii. I will need the holy water for this stage, though. 
Watch out for the tissues this time. And that's part two, Dan. The first section had red caverns, the second se section had purple, and this next one is going to have green caverns. So, we're going to switch to state two, save, and we are out. Now it's time for section three. This stage was made incredibly difficult back in the hard mode of this game and the American port of it. This stage is blessedly short though, and for that I'm quite happy. Alright, I'm not going to let a red skeleton end my run. Alright, so now it's time for Skull Knight King. I hate this thing. Alright, there we go, finally. There are outtakes to be had, though not too many. This actually was a perfect run. So, we're switching to State 2, saving. And we're out.